What's up everybody, Alita Raptor back with a brand new video. Today I wanted to talk about setting up your credit profile with primaries and how to do it the most effective way possible. So if you're new to this channel and it's your first time watching, don't forget to subscribe, turn that bell icon on. I do bespoke financial mentoring, essentially I give you guys information on credit, wealth and prosperity overall. So the first thing about this topic is that a lot of people have been asking me, hey Ali, you know, after I fix my credit, you know, what are some of the next steps that I got to take? What's the initial um, immediate steps that I have to do once my profile is clean, you know, whether it be on TransUnion, Equifax, uh, Experian. So the point here is that, you know, a lot of people, what they tend to, uh, tend to, to do is basically to go out there and then they start getting authorized users. And they basically try to add, you know, those type of accounts into their credit profile. Of course, it gives you a nice utilization boost, but the problem is it's not a primary account. And the factor, considering that, you know, the new Ultra FICO model, which I discussed in my last video, uh, is going to be heavily revolving around, uh, you know, putting together context that actually makes sense for clients who have good banking history, clients who have uh, good, you know, bankable relationships, as we talk about multiple times throughout my other videos. Uh, you know, there's going to be a lot of emphasis on that as well. Now, for those who are just starting out and you guys are just fixing your credit, it's clean. And now essentially what you're doing is you want to go out there and you want to build your profile the right way. I think the first things you want to do is you want to look at a couple of primary accounts. Now, I have my other video for primary trade lines. I posted it before. It's going to be below this video. Uh, but for your sake, uh, let's say if you, know, you just cleaned up your credit, what next? I think what you want to do is you want to start looking at building relationships with certain financial institutions. So most probably, um, we, there's a lot of success with credit unions. I'm not sure as to tier one institutions. I think you can you know get away with credit unions. So possibly look at like Penn Fed, uh, Navy Federal if you guys have military members or somebody who can refer you there. Uh, look at your community credit unions, you know, build some accounts there, you know, open bank accounts, put a deposit there. And again, these are good things because the ultra FICO model will look at that as well uh, in terms of how much you have going out there. Uh, so, you know, make that deposit, maybe add another 300, get a secure credit card or another 500, get a secure credit card. Uh, start, you know, building those type of bankable relationships because, you know, end result is a lot of people want to do trade, trade lines and they want to add primaries and, you know, they want to get the funding. For I think the the rule of thumb is they want to do two things. The first is they either want to get a car or they want to get a house. Now either one is basically going to require you to have some sort of decent credit. Now you can get away with um, you know you can get away with just uh, having terrible credit and some mediocre credit when it comes to car financing and pay a little bit of higher rates and the payments will be a little bit more. But I think it's more important that you consider fixing your credit, adding those trade lines on a primary level. Uh, and then of course, you know, building your bank with that and then getting a car financing that will make sense to your, for your budget and at the same time you'll be saving quite a bit long term, right? Now when it comes to your house, you know, it's a little bit different story. You, you can get away with a slightly higher rate, but what ends up happening is you pay a lot more money in a, in a duration. So if you start and you get some financing for your home and you're paying a slight percentage higher or a quarter percent higher, you're gonna be paying thousands of dollars by the end of that term. So what I mean by term is like, let's say the 25 year mortgage or 30 year mortgage. Uh, so it's important to have your credit ready. It's important to consider that at the end of the day, if you can have some money back into your pocket, save it, it's, you can put that money you know, towards something else, right? Maybe a better car or whatever it is, right? And another notable difference is if you have decent credit, the car payment is between getting like a, you know, Volkswagen Jetta if you have good credit, it could be, you know, leasing a brand new BMW 7 Series or 5 Series, right? Now, I know a lot of people are probably, you know, looking into getting luxury cars eventually and they want to, you know, make the most of it. So it, there's a lot of reasons why a lot of people would want to fix their credit. And, you know, when it comes to having it clean, you know, that's that's the first part. But the second part is really building those bankable relationships, you know, opening those bank accounts, getting secure credit, and then applying you know, you have your My Jewelers Club. You know, a lot of people have that. They're very excited about that. That works really well. You also have uh, New Coast Direct, which is another credit account that actually reports to all three bureaus. That's pretty powerful stuff, actually. Uh, so you got the My Jewelers Club, the New Coast Direct, Hutton Chase. You know, that's really good as well. Uh, and then Self Lender, which is another one that you actually put a savings account 
you open it, you open it and, and you pay towards it every month and you get the full amount by the end of the year with a small interest on it. Uh, that actually reports to all three bureaus as well. So it does give you a slight boost. Now, there are some tricks to the game, right? As soon as you clean your credit and you just add these trade lines, it doesn't necessarily mean you're gonna get a significant boost in your credit score. There's a reason for that. So as soon as you apply, you get this new account. Uh, what you're doing is you're essentially you know, starting off and you have this one account, but you just started off. So you need to build the payment history. You have to start looking at the 30 days, keep a little balance, pay it. Uh, 20, uh, 60 days, keep a little balance, pay it. 90 days, keep a little balance, pay it. Because the factor of credit calculation is you know, your utilization, how old the account is, the payment history on it, how, how much of it is, is positive. And you have the diversification, you have the banking records that's coming on with the ultra FICO model, uh, you know, stability, um, and the, the size of your accounts, right? Like that's another thing. But you got to exercise those credit muscles. So when you guys apply for, let's say, the new Costa Rica, my jewelers club, uh, Hutton Chase, Self Lender, uh, you got to start having a small balance. Well, Self Lender is a savings, so it doesn't matter. But for the other ones, like let's say your, your jewelers club, your you cost direct on the electronic side or Hutton Chase for furniture. Keep a little balance and keep paying every month because the payment history is gonna now be built. Now 60 days and 90 days from now, you'll have a, a decent record of payment history. And then eventually what's gonna happen is it's gonna be counted towards uh, increasing your score, right? A little bit more and more and more on a month to month basis. So that's something that you gotta consider as soon as you clean up your credit. Now a lot of you guys are still wondering like, um, What's, what's happening with, uh, with the Ultimate Personal Credit Mastery Program. I'm actually recording a lot of sessions. As you guys can see, there's a whiteboard back there. I'm going to be creating a couple of different things um, this week and, and launching a couple of things next week as well. Uh, I'm also going to be talking a lot about business. And the reason I think this is important is because I'm talking to a few friends and associates uh, who are actually from Pennsylvania. Uh, one of them is Sergeant. Robert Massfield, he's actually got a radio station, uh, internet radio station, and I'm going to be doing some uh, financial market analysis for him. I'll be coming onto his talk show, speaking about 10, 15 minutes, uh, twice a month for the next year. Uh, so, you know, that's something interesting that I wanted to give you guys a perspective on. Uh, but I think also at the same time as a lot of you guys are starting your businesses, you're building your credit, you're financing your, your businesses through your personal credit. And uh, I think you guys are also looking to help other business owners or possibly you're looking to merge or acquire a new business. So all these type of sensible things that, you know, would make sense for you guys uh, to make everyday decisions on your on your business affairs. So I want to be able to give you guys some mentoring and guidance on that as well. So I'm going to be talking about business as well in a couple of days coming and following weeks. I think it's very important, uh, that, you know, that I share that information with you guys and you guys grasp that information and knowledge. So with all that said and done, I hope that today's video was helpful as uh, just to recap, you know, as soon as you guys finish cleaning your credit, apply for the My Jewelers Club, uh, you got the Self Lender, which is good, New Coast Direct, and you have uh, the Hutton Chase, and you also maybe want to get a secure credit card with your credit union. Keeping in mind the Ultra FICO model that's rolling out, uh, banking information is going to be looked at for a review, so a minimum of $400 deposit and past that consider getting a, a, a secure credit card that actually reports to a major credit reporting agency, right? So with that said and done, this is your guide and mentor, Ali Tarafter. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I'll see you next time. And once again, if you like the content that I shared, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you haven't done so yet. Turn that bell icon on. You'll be getting a lot more videos like these. And I hope to see you guys next time. Bye for now.